Hey everyone, welcome to this new video. So I wanted to start a new video series for the, the channel. Uh, it's gonna be called uh, Sunday Studies. And we um, the idea is that we are going to study an artist, like not every Sunday, but maybe twice a month, and pick something from their, from, from their work, like for example, composition or lighting or colors. What's words the best in their work and what's and trying to analyze it and looking at what we can learn from it to get better in our own work so today we are going to study the amazing compositions of nick jindro and so yeah let's get right into it all right so i'm on nick's um art station profile and so i can show you a little bit of the projects he, he has worked on is a concept artist um, based in Los Angeles, in the US, and he's worked on The Mandalorian, um, on The Last of Us, and Uncharted 4, and I guess many other projects as well. Um, yeah, he's very prolific, and yeah. He has a lot of different um, images and moods and compositions, and I chose some of them to study with you guys. Um, I think those are the, the images that were the best um, in his portfolio, and that I think are the most striking. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go through them. Um, one by one and I chose some of them to study and yeah let's go so there's this one that's really um, really interesting this one as well and then there is this one that's a, a concept art for um, the Mandalorian the, the series and I, I think the, this composition is very striking because um, it's very interesting to see that Mando here is the, uh, the focal point is on the, the third of the image if you can draw the lines here you know is really on the, the side of the image which is uh, very important in the composition and if you squint your eyes and you see a little bit of the, the values and actually the 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 stormtroopers uh, have more value contrast than Mondo, not that much, but a little bit more, I think. Um, but Mondo stays the focal point, and that's very interesting, because a lot of time we say that the the element that has, that has the most value contrast is gonna be the focal point, but in this case, it's not really the case, and it's very interesting because Mondo stays the um, the focal points because everything is uh, looking every every character is looking towards him and so is really like uh, the focus of the painting but also the focus of every other character so every character is turned towards him and so as they are looking at him we want to look at him as well you can see that um, the main lines of the, the composition are also going towards him. The vanishing point of the perspective is a little bit behind him, but um, every line is going towards him. And it's also let point out that the technique here used is very interesting because I think he's using uh, 3D. Like I think the stormtroopers here are from a 3D base. Um, as well the, the objects here and the objects here are, are from a 3d base i think and here clearly the helmet is made in 3d and the objects here as well and still it keeps like a very pencil feel because there are lots of um, brush strokes here and there from um, where there are shadows and 
where, it, where it's supposed to be a little bit flatter you can use the, the brush strokes to give a lot more texture to the painting that's that's very interesting in this work there's this image that's very interesting i think there's, there are a lot of characters here it's it's more of a sketch but still the composition is very strong and you, you have to remember guys that composition is important for finished painting but for sketches as well. So this starter here is the main focal point because that's what you look at first um, when you open the image and what's, that's where your eyes are drawn to. And it's again the same phenomenon that's happening with the, the painting of Mondo that I showed you earlier that every other character here in the foreground is looking at him and so you know the phenomenon where you, you see someone in the street that, that may be looking at the, the sky and you want to look at the sky as well to see what's happening there it's the same thing here you see the characters looking at this uh, Roman um, soldier, you, you want to look at him as well. And also, if you you look at this, you know, the the, the image is divided in two, the, the, the character is on the lower third, is more here, which is more interesting at, than just on in the center of the image. And you can see that as well, as well the, the elements of the, the architecture are, are pointing towards, the, the perspective is pointing towards the soldier and the, the flag that he's wearing, which makes us want to look at him. And also, he has the most contrast here. Even, not, actually not necessarily, this, this guy has maybe even more contrast with his dark hair. That, that's what's interesting in his, in his compositions. It's, uh, it's not necessarily the, the element that has the most contrast that's going to be the focal point, but the element that everything is doing is the center of attention and it's going to be the, the focal point. This image is also very iconic. I love it. It's like very simple, just the, the top of the hill with um, the rocks here guiding the eye going uh, towards the characters and that makes very dynamic image with the clouds that are going like this you know through the uh, towards the character it's like very simple but still very efficient this image as well is like the same as before you have some elements in the foreground they are going to guide the eye. If you look at uh, his paintings, you can you can see he uses that he uses that a lot. Like there are some elements um, in the foreground or on the ground that he that goes towards the characters or the focal points, and that guides the eye. So here you can see that it's the snow here on the uh, the foreground that's doing this curve here and going towards the charter it's the same here you know it's doing this and you can see that here if you simplify the the values is using different values to guide to guide the eye he uses that as arrows almost and so here this that's the focal point the charter is here and it's doing this even the, the clouds here and the shape of the trees here as well and the the line of the snow here is going towards the charters so that everything is um, less important than that than them and so if you if you look at the those three the, the three examples of the, the, the three paintings I, sh uh, I analyzed with you, you can look at every other painting that he's doing and see that he's using the same techniques. Here, for example, it's not elements on the ground, but it's the characters. This is the focal point, and the characters are going towards the elements and guiding the eye. It's a path 
for the eye, you know? And so, yeah, that's uh, something that you could use in, in, your, in your painting. Uh, next time you, you are painting, you can really try to, to think about this technique and, and make a, a better painting. You can see here the same thing. And I encourage you guys to, to look at this other, at this other work and, um, and try to learn something from it and try to analyze them uh, the same way that I did here. It doesn't have to take a long time, guys. Just try to, to look at them and, and think about what, what makes the, his compositions so efficient. Um, yeah, you can see he uses that at every in every painting. Like here, the waterfalls are going towards, are pointing towards the the characters. There are this here that's doing that's doing this a circle. So yeah, it's it's very it's simple but it's very efficient. And I love this here. Same thing, you know. Or you want yeah, this is going towards the, the robot here. There, there are those planes here going towards the, the robot. Um, the, the, I want to make this path. It's yeah, it's every time the same technique but a different result, and that's what's uh, so good about his work. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. I hope you learn from this, something from this and um, let me know your feedbacks in the comments about this new kind of video. It's fun to do because I'm learning it myself uh, and yeah, hope to see you next time guys. See you. Bye.